Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight, via live stream, it's American Legion Baseball from Schiffbauer Field in Hutchinson. As the Uniontown American Legion team takes on the Baldwin American Legion team. Hi, everybody. I'm Tony Hindle with Jerry Dupay, and we welcome you aboard for this evening's contest. South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott. Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with Gary Smith. I'm Tony Hanola with Jerry Dupay, and we will be back with the first pitch right after these messages. The South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's American Legion Baseball. State Farm Insurance Agent Lauren Yeoman at 37 West Main Street in Uniontown. Call 724-592-6308. United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, and the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown, and Agent David Hughes. Welcome to tonight's contest. Got the Baldwin American Legion team versus Uniontown, and we'll go over the batting order for Uniontown who in this first game will be the visiting team. Leading off will be second baseman Santino Mera. Batting second will be shortstop Tyler Sankovich. In the third spot will be third baseman Cole Shearer. Catching and batting cleanup today will be Brant Bonadio. Batting fifth will be right fielder Tyler Becker. Batting in the sixth spot will be tonight's starting pitcher Caleb Scott. Batting seventh first baseman Braden O'Brien. Batting eighth will be center fielder Braden McKnight, and batting ninth will be left fielder C.J. Gesk. Defensively for Baldwin, let's go around the horn. Third baseman is Diller, Dylan Schneider. Shortstop is Evan Carter. Second baseman, J.T. Kale. First base will be Zach Ingold. The outfield left to right, Tim Dowd in left. Christian Forgus in center, and Mike Leonhart in right. Behind the plate will be Pat Bobick. And starting pitching tonight will be Dom Stanziano. So as we get ready for the first pitch, home plate umpire Toby McKnight stepping behind the plate. First base umpire will be Joe Volpe. And we're getting ready for the first game of this doubleheader. There will be two seven-inning games tonight. Baldwin will be the home team for the first game, Uniontown for the second so we're ready to go, and here comes the first pitch from Dom Stanziano as Santino Maris steps in. First pitch is a strike right down the heart of the plate. Infield at normal depth, outfield playing straight away. Mara, California University freshman, takes a second pitch for a strike, now in the hole at 0-2. Waiting on deck, Tyler Sankovich. There's Stanziano's pitch. Just misses low on the breaking pitch. Mara with a good eye, so the count works now to one and two. Stanziano thought about it, but then shook off the sign, so now looks back in to get the sign from Bobbick. Here's the one-two pitch. Just misses on the outside corner. Mara looks in the dugout, knew that was pretty close. Good take, though, by Santino. So now the count evens up at 2-2. Two and two. Stanziano with a breaking pitch. Santino Mara able to work the count now full, so three balls and two strikes. And Mara waiting for the payoff pitch. And here's the payoff pitch from Stanziano, and it's a dribbler up the middle. There's Kale at second. Is he going to be able to throw him out? Bobbles it? No. So Mara starting off this game with an infield hit. It would have been a tough play either way for Kale. Fielding that ball straight up the middle, went to his right, and Mara with good speed able to beat that out. So Mara's aboard. Now here's Tyler Sankovich getting signals now. Third base coach is head coach, Brad Yeoman. Coaching first tonight will be Rob Gesk. 
Mayer able to get back there. Pretty close play. Stanziana with a pretty nice move. Here's Sankovic, and that ball's close again. Mara able to dive back twice, but a pretty good move there by Stanziano, and Mara might have to shorten that lead up a little bit. Sankovic, Mara's going to take off, and Sankovic drops the bunt down and sacrifices Mara over to second. So a little small ball by Uniontown. So the sacrifice bunt. Sankovic retired one to three. But that puts Mara in scoring position. That's going to bring up Cole Shear to third baseman. Cole attending West Virginia Wesleyan got to play in some games down there this year as a freshman. So now looking to drive in his teammate Santino Mara to score the first run of the game. There's one out. We're in the top of the first inning. There's the pitch. Just misses outside. Second base and shortstop now pinching a little bit up the middle, trying to keep Mara close to second. Giving up a big hole on this left side. Here's the pitch to Shear, and that's going to be fouled off. Might have caught his foot. He's going to try to walk that one off a little bit. Umpire Toby Knight's going to give him a little time to shake that one off. Going to come out and give him a little bit of time to regroup it. Shear looks okay. Gives the umpire the thumbs up, so he's ready to go. So the count now, one ball, one strike. One out in this top of the first inning. Waiting on deck is Brant Bonadillo. Stanziano checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Ball high, and it gets away. Mara is going to be able to get the third easily as the ball gets caught up in the netting behind home plate. So now with one out, a different situation for Shear here. Sacrifice fly would be able to score Mara. So Shearer now with the 2-1 count. There's a breaking pitch, and he fights that off and fouls it out down the right side. So now the count evens up at 2-2. Two and two. I think Shearer knew, too, that that pitch was a little bit inside. Probably would have been ball three. But he fouled it off. Now the count evens up now with two and two. Here's the pitch. Breaking pitch and again fouled back. Again down the right side. And I'm not so sure that one's going to come out of the tree. So Shear fighting off that 2-2 pitch. Stanziano from the stretch. There's a shot, and it's going to get down the right field line, and it's going to go in the corner. Mara is going to score easily. Shear making it to second. Is he going to try for three? Yes, he is. Is there going to be a play? No. So Cole Shear with an RBI triple, the second hit of the game for Uniontown, and gives them a quick one to nothing lead as Santino Mara scores easily. So Shear. Fought that inside pitch off and able to score a run. So he's going to be at third base and now still only one out. And that's going to bring up catcher Brant Bonadio. So Santino Mara scores easily. And Uniontown now with another runner in scoring position and still only one out. First pitch to Bonadio catches the inside corner for a strike. Bonadio starting catcher today. Again, Stanziano from the stretch. Pitch just missed down low. So one ball, one strike. You need town already with a quick one nothing lead. Infield single by Mara and tripled home by Cole Shear. There's a swing fouled back by Bonadio. Count now at one ball, two strikes. Tyler Becker waiting on deck. Shearer fought that pitch off beautifully and took it down the right field line, and it just curved and bent into the corner. And he was able to make it to third base easily without a play. There's the pitch to Bonadio, just missed outside. Count evens up now. 2-2. Two -two. 
Still only one out. Uniontown looking to tack on to this lead. Breaking pitch misses high. So now the count works full. Three and two. Coach Yeoman telling Bonadio protect. Here's the payoff pitch. That's down and away. So Bonadio with a nice at bat works the base on balls. And now runners at the corners for Uniontown. We're going to have a courtesy runner. That's going to be number 15. That's going to be Logan Yurick as the courtesy runner for Bonadio. So Logan Yurick at first. Cole Shearer at third. Now here comes Tyler Becker. Becker starting in right field today. And Becker's had a good season so far here for the Unitown Legion team. Coming off a nice season for the St. Vincent Bearcats where he played as a freshman. And that first pitch misses, misses on the inside. So ball one. Becker gets the sign. Would not be surprised to see Yorick go, but he's not moving. And there's ball two. So one out, and that was on the sacrifice bunt by Tyler Sankovich that moved Santino Mara to second. He advanced to third on a wild pitch and scored on a triple by Cole Shearer. And there's a throw over, and it's going to be pretty close, but Yorick able to get back. Shearer, as that ball went to first, went about halfway down the line here in case that ball got thrown away. So Stanziano looking to get out of a jam. There's a pitch to Becker, and it's going to get away. So Urich's going to make it to second easily. So the courtesy runner now at second. And now Uniontown again, still only one out. And now runners at second and third for Uniontown. And Tyler Becker, the lefty awaiting the pitch. There's a pitch that catches the outside corner. So Becker with a 3-1 count. Walk here would load the bases. And it does. So the second consecutive walk now for Stanziano. Tyler Becker reaches base safely, and now bases are juiced, and that's for Caleb Scott coming up. Scott getting the start on the mound today for Uniontown. Scott saw a considerable amount of action for Penn State Fayette this year. And now looking to aid his own cause here and drive in a couple runs, give himself a nice lead before he even gets on the mound. There's a swing and a miss, chase that high pitch. So no balls, one strike, maybe a little over-anxious there for Caleb. Base is loaded. Shear at third. Courtesy runner Yorick. There's a breaking pitch. Catches the outside corner. So now Scott in the hole 0 and 2. Again, still only one out. Braden O'Brien waiting on deck. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Scott dribbles that to short. Nice play there by Carter. Flips it over to Kale, and he's able to turn the double play. So the pitcher's best friend. So Caleb Scott grounds into the double play, 6-4-3. to four to three. So in that inning for Uniontown, they score one run on two hits. There were no errors and two men left on base. So at the end of one, it's the Uniontown American Legion team one, the Baldwin American Legion team coming to bat. South Union Township Sports Network. We'd like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to be live streaming tonight's American Legion game. The State Farm Insurance Agent, Lauren Yeoman, 37 West Main Street in Uniontown, call 724-592-6308. United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys. 
and the Sprouls Insurance Group in Uniontown and agent David Hughes. So as we go to the bottom of the first inning, Uniontown scores one run in the top of the first. Let's go over the batting lineup for Baldwin. Leading off will be shortstop Evan Carter. He'll be followed by third baseman Dylan Snyder. Batting third will be second baseman J.T. Kill. In the cleanup spot will be first baseman Zach Ingold. Batting fifth, center fielder Christian Forgus. Batting sixth will be left fielder Tim Dowd. In the seventh spot, right fielder Mike Leonhart. Batting eighth, catcher Pat Bobick. And batting ninth is the starting pitcher, Dom Stanziano. Defensively for Uniontown, let's work it around the horn. Third base will be Cole Shearer. Today's shortstop, Tyler Sankovic. Playing second base, Santino Mera. Getting the start at first is Braden O'Brien. Outfield, left to right, will be C.J. Gesk in left. Braden McKnight in center. And Tyler Becker in right. Behind the plate today for Uniontown is Brant Bonadio, and on the mound, Caleb Scott getting a start today in this first game of the doubleheader. So Stanziano able to get out of a quick jam there. Base is loaded, and Scott hit the perfect double play ball, and Snyder to Kale to Ingold, and they were able to turn it 6-4-3. So now here's Evan Carter leading off. Head coach for Baldwin is Zach Kozlowski. He's assisted by Ken Kozlowski and Jeff Bowalski. First pitch from Scott, a little up and in, so one ball, no strikes now to Evan Carter. Misses again up, so two balls, no strikes. Caleb Scott. In the hole, 2-0 to Carter. There's a pitch. Catches the inside corner. So Scott now working with a 2-1 count. Carter to be followed by Dylan Snyder. There's a pitch high and away. So Scott looking to avoid the leadoff walk here to Evan Carter. There's a dribbler right back to Scott. Nice play. So Carter with a one hopper back to Caleb Scott, but he's able to field it cleanly. Makes a throw over to Braden O'Brien for the first out of the game. So now that's going to bring up third baseman Dylan Snyder. Scott not sure if that was a life-saving play or what it was, but he made a beautiful play. Ball might have got up the middle for a base hit. There's a breaking pitch, catches the outside corner. So Scott ahead in this count now. 0-1 to Dylan Snyder. Uniontown with a 1-0 lead. Cole Shearer with an RBI triple in that top of the first inning to score Santino Mara, who led off the game with an infield single. That pitch misses high. Count now at 1-1. Decent crowd here tonight. Perfect night for baseball. Breaking pitch again catches the outside corner. So one ball, two strikes. And here's the pitch to Snyder. And a breaking pitch gets him. So Caleb Scott with his first strike out of the game. So now two outs. That's going to bring up the number three hitter, J.T. Kale. Kale, the second baseman, made a nice play on that double play turn. There's a breaking pitch down and away. So Kale ahead in the count now. One ball, no strikes. There's two outs, Unitown leading one to nothing. That pitch misses high. So two balls and no strikes. Scott gets a sign from Brand Bonadio. That pitch called for a 
letter high strike. Home plate umpire Toby McKnight. First base umpire is Joe Volpe. There's a shot into the dugout. Kale almost took out a couple of his teammates. They've only got 10 guys tonight anyway, so you better be careful there. Scattered a few of them. <laughs> They're kind of giving him the look in there. <laughs> so Scott now with another breaking pitch misses. So the count should be full. Three balls, two strikes. And it is. Two outs. We're in the bottom of the first inning. There's a breaking pitch, and that's going to be popped up to the infield. Calling it's going to be Braden O'Brien, and he makes the catch. So Caleb Scott, even though he worked behind a couple batters, able to get out of that inning, one, two, three. So in the bottom of the first for Baldwin, no runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. So after one complete, it's the Unitown American Legion team one, the Baldwin American Legion team nothing. The South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's American Legion doubleheader. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and Agent David Hughes, Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown's business and bankruptcy attorneys, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, United Bank, and State Farm Insurance Agent Lauren Yeoman who is at 37 West Main Street in Uniontown. You can call her at 724-592-6308. So leading off this inning for Uniontown will be first baseman Braden O'Brien. He'll be followed by Braden McKnight. And then the number nine hitter, C.J. Gesk. Stanziana was in a little bit of trouble there in the top of the first inning, but pitcher's best friend, the double play ball. And Stanziano able to get out, allowing only one run. So Braden O'Brien steps in the box, ready to lead off for Uniontown here in the top of the second inning. Double header tonight, so two seven inning games on tap. Second one will follow about 20 minutes after completion of this first game. So Pat Bobick sets up behind the plate, and here's Stanziano's first pitch to Braden O'Brien. There's a pitch that misses high. O'Brien, McKnight, and Gesk for Uniontown here in this top of the second. We're trying to see what's going on here. Talking to the coaches a little bit. Not exactly sure what's happening. Toby McKnight, not exactly sure what he's checking on. So stop play, went over and talked to the Baldwin coaches. And now, one ball, no strike count to Braden O'Brien. Pitch catches the inside corner. So the count evens up now at one and one. That ball fouled back. O'Brien shaking his head. Knows that he chased that pitch. Might have been a little bit high. So Braden shaking it off. So now the count, one and two. Stanziano got the sign but didn't feel comfortable and stepped off. Now he's ready to go. There's a breaking pitch down in the dirt, so that'll even to count up now with two balls, two strikes. It's a warm one, but a little bit of breeze blowing off of Lake Hutchie here tonight. And here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Missed on the outside. So now the count evens. I'm sorry, the count is full at three and two. 
Stanziano did walk two batters in that first inning, but able to get out relatively unscathed. There's O'Brien. He's going to foul that down the right field line. It stays alive. So, again, here's the payoff pitch. Breaking pitch and catches the outside corner and froze O'Brien. So, O'Brien is the first strikeout victim tonight for Stanziano. Coach Yeoman going to talk to Braden here a little bit. So now that brings up center fielder Braden McKnight. There's a swing and a miss on the fastball. McKnight a little bit behind, a little behind on that pitch. Calling time gets set. There's the pitch. Count even up now, one and one. McKnight to be followed by C.J. Gaskin in the top of the order for Uniontown. Pitch down and in. Count now, two balls, one strike. There's one out. Uniontown with a one nothing lead. There's a pop out of play. Uniontown comes into this contest with a 7-2 and two overall record. Got rained out a few games last week. There's a swing and a miss. The umpire saying that he's out because Bobbick caught the ball. They did not hit the ground. So now Stanziano picks up his second consecutive K, second of the game, and that's going to bring up C.J. Gesk. Gesk starting today in left. Stanziano now looking to be in a little bit of a groove. That pitch just missed outside. So one ball, no strike to C.J. Gesk. Ball just misses inside. Unitown scheduled to play a doubleheader tonight. And another doubleheader on Wednesday night against South Allegheny. Scheduled for another home game Friday night against Smithfield. And then on the 11th and 12th, finishing out the regular season, a home game against Bethel Park on the 11th, and then an away game at Bell Vernon on the 12th. And the regionals are scheduled to start here on the 15th. So three balls, one strike to Gesk. That pitch catches the outside corner. Guess thought he missed. Was ready to take off for first base. But now, full count. And the payoff pitch from Stanziano on the way. And there's a walk. So after striking out the first two batters of this inning, Stanziano walks his third batter of the game. And that's going to bring up the leadoff hitter, Santino Mara, top of the order. Mara with an infield single, able to get to second base on a sacrifice bunt by Sankovic, moved to third on a wild pitch and scored easily on a triple. That was another close play over at first. Guest able to dive back. Stanziano with a pretty good move here, especially for a right-hander. He's got the runners diving back in. There's Bear again hitting it at the same spot he did the first time. Picks up his second hit of the game. The only difference between that one and the first inning was that Kale was able to get to it and try to make a play. But Marin now two for two on the night. And that's going to advance Gesk to second. And that's going to bring up Tyler Sankovic. Sank 0 for 1 here. As we mentioned, he sacrificed bunted Mara over. 
He was retired 1-3 to three on Stanziano. Now Stanziano is going to call Dylan Snyder and ask him to play even with the bag. Case Sankovic tries to bunt again, but there's two outs in this inning. I don't see a bunt this time. There's a pitch on the outside corner for a strike. <clears throat> Brad Yeoman at third giving signals and signs down to Sankovic. The 0 1 pitch, and there's a breaking pitch. Sankovic swings and misses. Now the count 0 and 2. So now with two outs and runners at first and second, Sankovic looking to pad this Uniontown lead. Right now it's 1 to nothing. Stanziano steps off. And again, shortstop Carter, second baseman Kale. Pinching towards the middle, trying to keep guests close, but opening up holes on both the right and left side. And there's a shot to left, and it's going to fall in and curve away from left fielder Tim Dowd. Guest able to score easily. Dowd makes a nice play to get to that ball and gets it in quickly, but not before C.J. Guest. Scores the second run for Uniontown. So an RBI single by Sankovic. And Uniontown now ahead two to nothing. So RBIs tonight by Shearer and Sankovic. It's going to send Santino Mera to second base. Now Cole Shearer getting some instructions from Coach Yeoman. Shearer with a good at bat last time. Fought off a couple inside pitches. And finally was able to take one down the right field line that bent into the right field corner, and he was able to get a triple easily without a play being made. And drove in Santino Mera for the first run. There's a curveball just missed outside. So Mera at second, Sankovic at first after an RBI single. Timeout by Cole Shear. Stanziano checks the runner. Mara, who doesn't have a very big lead. There's a swing and a miss. First baseman Zach Ingold playing behind Sankovic at first. Two outs were in the top of the second. And Uniontown able to score another run here. Putting their lead at two to nothing. There's the pitch to Shear. That pitch is going to catch the outside corner. Beautiful breaking pitch there by Stanziano. So one ball, two strikes. Shear, pretty deep in that box. His right foot on the back of the batter's box on the line. Runners are running. And no throw is going to be made. And that pitch missed. So Mara with the head first slide into third. Looks like he might have felt that one a little bit. So Stanziano still going to work from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Shear. Ball misses down and away. So the count now full. With runners at first, I'm sorry, with second and third. And Brant Bonadilla waiting on deck. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a dribbler down to Kale at second. Makes a nice play. Flips it over to Ingold at first. So Cole Shearer is going to be retired. Second base to first. So in that inning, Uniontown scores one run on two hits. There were no errors. And two men left on base. So after one and a half, it's the Uniontown American Legion team two. The Baldwin American Legion team nothing. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's American Legion doubleheader. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman, who's at 37 West Main Street in Uniontown, call her at 724-592-6308. United Bank, Davis & Davis, Attorneys at Law, 
Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown, Zebley Mahalov and White, Uniontown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, and the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown, and Agent David Hughes. So we're getting ready for the bottom of the second inning and leading off for Baldwin will be the number four hitter, Zach Ingold. He'll be followed by Christian Forgus and then Tim Dowd. So Caleb Scott out for his second inning of work. And we'll see what's happening here. Scott with the last couple pitches. And Ingold ready to go. So here comes Coach Kozlowski. Going to make the trek over to third. So Ingold, the lefty, got the start at first today. Here's a pitch from Scott. Up and out. So ball one. Scott able to retire Baldwin three up, three down in that first inning. So now the count evens up at one and one. Here's the pitch to Ingold. Ball misses high. So two balls, one strike. It's a breaking pitch right down the heart. So Scott able to even up the count now. Two balls, two strikes. And again, the breaking pitch. And Scott able to pick up his second strikeout. Gets Ingold looking. So that's the second strikeout of the game for Caleb Scott. That's going to bring up center fielder. Christian Forgus. So here's first pitch to Forgus. There's a breaking pitch. A little excuse me swing, and he's going to dribble it down to first baseman Braden O'Brien, who taps first easily. So he's going to be retired three unassisted. So one pitch to Forgus, as we said, kind of an excuse me swing. And he dribbles it down to Braden O'Brien, who fielded it cleanly and made the play. So now two quick outs, and that's going to bring up left fielder Tim Dowd. Dowd going to take that breaking pitch. Had to bail out of there a little bit. Didn't break as much as Caleb wanted it to. <laughs> Caleb with a little smile on his face. And there's a dribbler down third, but that's going to go foul. Nice play down there by Coach Kozlowski. So now the count evens up at one and one. There's a swing and a miss on a breaking pitch to Dowd. Caleb Scott looking to retire Baldwin here. One, two, three again for the second consecutive inning. And there's a breaking pitch, and he does. So Scott picks up his third strikeout. And in that inning, again, Baldwin goes, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. So right now, Caleb Scott with two perfect innings of work. So after two complete, it's the Uniontown American Legion two, the Baldwin American Legion team nothing. Southwest Township, South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's American Legion baseball doubleheader. Sprouse Insurance Group in Unitown and Agent David Hughes. Zebley Mahalov and White, Unitown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Unitown. South Union Township Supervisor, Jason Scott. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, United Bank. And State Farm Agent, Lauren Yeoman. So now in this top of the third inning, 
Leading off for Uniontown is going to be Brant Bonadio. He'll be followed by Tyler Becker and Caleb Scott. Stanziano out again for his third inning of work. And he's given up one run in each of the first two innings. Toby McKnight giving Bonadio to signal to hold on a little bit. So we're going to be ready for action here in a minute. So Bonadio, he walked his first time up, was stranded in that first inning. There's the first pitch inside. So count one ball, no strikes. That pitch down and out. So now two balls, no strikes to Bonadio. And I take it back, Bonadio wasn't stranded. It was actually courtesy runner, Logan Urich, who was stranded. He came in whenever Bonadio had walked. So now two balls, one strike to Brent Bonadio. Tyler Becker, the lefty waiting on deck. Stanziano pitching from the stretch, and there's a fly ball to right field. Camping under it is going to be Mike Leonhart. So Leonhart with the catch. And Bonadio is going to retire on the fly ball out to right field. So that's the first out of the third inning here. Bonadio hit that outside pitch a long way, but nice play out there by Leonhart to make the catch. So now here comes Tyler Becker. Becker walked in that first inning, and he was retired on the Double play ball, Caleb Scott hit. Retired Carter to Kale. So here's the pitch to Becker. Becker thought about pulling the trigger but backed off, and that ball's going to be called for a strike anyway. So no balls, one strike. Pitch high. Count evens up now at one ball, one strike. Caleb Scott waiting on deck. Ball down and in. So now two balls, one strike. Becker waits for the pitch. Ball misses high. So now three balls, one strike. Coach Yeoman more than likely going to give Becker the take sign here. Becker with a pretty good eye at the plate, though. That pitch catches the outside corner. So beautiful pitch there by Stanziano. And the count now at full count. And the payoff pitch to Tyler Becker. That ball's going to be high, so Becker walks for the second time in this game. That's the fourth free pass issued tonight by Stanziano. That's going to bring up Caleb Scott, and it's also going to bring out a visit to the mound by head coach Kozlowski. Going to go out and check with Stanziano to make sure he's okay. Catcher Bobbick coming out as well. Only 10 players on the roster tonight for Baldwin. So not exactly sure how much pitching they're going to have, especially in this doubleheader. So now the meeting at the mound. Toby McKnight going to go out. No. Broke up before he even got out there. He got, up, got to the edge of the grass on the infield. Coach Kozlowski heads back to the dugout. So now here comes Caleb Scott. As we said, Scott grounded into a double play his first time up to end that first inning. Grounded into a double play with bases loaded. So now it looks like Snyder's going to even up at third. 
And there's the pitch. Down and out. Snyder expecting a bunt. Scott looks down and gets a sign from Coach Yeoman. Braden O'Brien waiting on deck. There's a throw over a little high. So Becker able to get back easily to first. And there's a pitch to Scott. That's going to catch the outside corner. Caleb doing a nice job on the mound so far for Unitown. Has retired Baldwin 1-2-3 in the first two innings. Pitch misses outside. Count now. Two balls, one strike. Throw over. That almost gets away. Nice play over there by Engold. So that ball didn't get on the right field line. And Becker with pretty good speed at first. Depending on where that ball kicked away, he might have made it to third. And he's going to take off on the pitch. It's going to be outside. There's a throw down by Bobbick, and he's going to get him easily. Beautiful throw there by Pat Bobbick, the catcher. So Tyler Becker is going to be retired 2-4 to four on the caught stealing. So now with two outs, Caleb Scott with a three-ball, one-strike count. There's a swing and a miss. Scott was going for the downs on that one. <laughs> Comes out with a little smile. <laughs> he was trying to take that one down to the other fields here. Payoff pitch. Catches the outside corner. So Stanziano, after retiring Bonadio on the fly out to right, walking Becker, who gets caught stealing. And now Caleb Scott. Striking out, third strikeout victim. So in that inning for Unitown, no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left on base. So after two and a half, it's a Unitown American Legion team two, the Baldwin American Legion team nothing. South Uni Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to be live streaming today's American Legion doubleheader. State Farm Insurance Agent Lauren Yeoman, 37 West Main Street in Uniontown. Call her at 724-592-6308. United Bank, Davis & Davis Attorneys at Law. Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor. Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Uniontown. Zebley Mahalov & White, Uniontown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, and the Sprouse Insurance Group in Uniontown and agent David Hughes. So leading off in this bottom of the third inning for Baldwin will be right fielder Mike Leonhart. He'll be followed by catcher Pat Bobbick, and then the starting pitcher Dom Stanziano. Caleb Scott, two perfect innings so far here for Uniontown. And looking to duplicate the feet again here in the third. So now we're going to have a change. Leonhart is going to have, <laughs> there's going to be a change made. Let's get to the roster here. And that's going to be Liam Gutendorf. So Gutendorf will be batting for Mike Leonhart. Leonhart played in right field and didn't even get a chance to bat. Did make a nice play out there on a fly ball by Bonadio. So Liam Gutendorf takes the first two pitches for balls. As we said, Baldwin with only 10 players on the roster here tonight. 
Gutendorf now ahead in the count. Three balls, no strikes. Caleb Scott is yet to walk a batter in the first two innings of work. And is yet to give up a hit. That pitch going to miss inside. So Gutendorf with the first walk of the game. Issued by Caleb Scott. That's going to put him at first. That's going to bring up catcher Pat Bobick. Bobick with a beautiful throw there to retire Tyler Becker, trying to steal second base in that top of the third inning. Gutendorf with about a two-step lead at first. That breaking pitch there catches the outside corner for Scott. Scott pitching from the stretch for the first time with a runner at first. It's a pitch to Bobbick. Just misses outside. So one ball, one strike. Waiting on deck. Starting pitcher Dom Stanziano. Gutendorf with not a lead at all over there at first. That breaking pitch is going to be called for a strike. So one ball, two strikes. Nobody out. We're in the bottom of the third. Unitown leads two to nothing. Scott checks the runner. Taking a lot of time. They try to throw a fastball. And misses high. So now the count evens up at two and two. Gutendorf with barely a lead. There's a breaking pitch, and Bob is going to foul that off his foot. So now Toby McKnight's going to come out a little bit and check. Bobbick actually has a protection on that right foot, so probably didn't feel too much of the impact there, but still going to give him a little bit of time to make sure he's okay. So now here comes the 2-2 pitch to catcher Pat Bobbick. There's a breaking pitch. That's going to be pulled foul down the right field line. Giving chase to that is Christian Forgus. So Bobbick able to fight that pitch off. Count remains at 2-2. Two and two. Nobody out. Gutendorf with a leadoff walk. And there's a breaking pitch. Just Mitch's outside. Caleb Scott didn't like that call. Thought he might have had a strike there. So looks at that new baseball. So now payoff pitch. And that misses outside. So now Bobbick. Gets aboard via the walk. So that's the second consecutive walk by Caleb Scott. <clears throat> and now we're going to have courtesy runner. So that's going to be number 36. That's going to be Mike Leonhart. Leonhart got pulled there when Gutendorf showed up. So now he's going to be the courtesy runner now. Uniontown, Braden O'Brien playing on the infield grass. Cole Shearer cheating up a little bit, but you got runners at first and second. And now Stanziano, the starting pitcher, showing bunt. That pitch is going to be a strike. O'Brien charging from first. Shearer has to stay and hold the bag at third. He is cheating in a little bit, but not exactly sure why. It's going to be a tough play either way. I mean, you're basically giving up third base if he tries to field it. The runner's going to be going. It's going to be a throw down to Shearer, and he's not close enough for the tag. So Gutendorf able to get to third. So on the double steal, Leonhardt also going to get to second. Yeah, not exactly sure what Shearer was doing there at third. He's cheating in. He needs to play even with the bag there. He's surely not going to field the bunt with the runners at first and second. So there's the swing and a miss. So now it should be no balls and two strikes 
to Stanziano, and it is. And Scott looking for the first out of this inning, and there's a shot in the left. C.J. Guest giving chase, but it's going to get through. So both runs are going to score easily, and Stanziano helps himself out. So Stanziano on an 0-2 pitch drills it into the left center field gap, gets the first hit of the game for Baldwin, and also picks up two RBIs as both Gutendorf and courtesy runner Leonhardt score. Now they're going to send Leonhardt back out to pinch run. Courtesy run, I should say. No, it's actually the last out, so it's probably going to be Tim Dowd. Dowd's going to go in the courtesy runner. Now Brad Yeoman's going to take a little time to go out and speak to Caleb. Caleb not very happy with that pitch. Stanziano able to rope it in the left center field gap and pick up two quick runs and still nobody out. And Baldwin with another runner in scoring position. So courtesy runner Tim Dowd is going to be out there for Stanziano. So Stanziano with the first hit of the game, and it's a big one. After the first two batters of this inning walked, Gutendorf and then Bobbick. Caleb Scott gives up a shot to Stanziano, and this game's now tied at 2 2. So this is going to bring up the top of the order. So shortstop Evan Carter coming up with nobody out and a runner in scoring position at second base. Baldwin looking to take the first lead of the game. Santino Mera cheating up the middle a little bit, tries to get back, and there's a foul back on the first pitch by Carter. So the count, no balls, one strike. Waiting on deck, third baseman Dylan Schneider. So we have a new ball game. Uniontown scored one in the first, one in the second. Now Baldwin tying it up with two runs here on the double by Stanziano. And there's a breaking pitch there to Evan Carter. Catches the outside corner. So now, no balls, two strikes. There's a shot down to third, but it goes foul. Looks like he might have broke a bat there. <laughs> and he broke his bat. So now we're going to get him another one. Now he's not happy about that. <laughs> Now they're waiting for a bat. You would think he'd go over and pick the one he wanted, but now they're just going to throw one to him. So Carter, the no ball two strike count. And still nobody out here in the bottom of the third inning. Scott with a breaking pitch just misses. They're going to check it. Field umpire Joe Volpe says no. So, one ball, two strikes. There's the pitch to Carter. Just misses high. So, the count now, even at two and two. Caleb Scott, Cole Shearer, tell him relax a little bit. Still throwing well. There's a breaking pitch, and it's going to be hit to straightaway center field. McKnight with the catch and gets it in. The runner not tagging. So that's going to be the first out of the inning. So Carter flies out to Braden McKnight in center field. Picks up the first out. And here's Dylan Snyder. Snyder was a strikeout victim his first time up. J.T. Kale waiting on deck. So Snyder now coming to bat with one out. Runner at second. There's a breaking pitch. Misses high. Scott trying to settle himself down here. There's a foul back out of play. Down the right side. Coach Kozlowski somebody, telling somebody to get on it. 
saying, I know we really don't have a bench, but somebody chase it anyway. There's a pop-up again. Is it going to stay in play? Catcher Bonadio giving Chase a nice catch. That's a beautiful play right there by Brant Bonadio. Able to throw the mask away. The ball stayed in play, and that's an extremely tough play for a catcher. So beautiful play there by Bonadio. So now two outs. That's going to bring up J.T. Kale. Kale popped out the first baseman, Braden O'Brien, his first time up. So now all of a sudden two outs and a runner at third, and Caleb Scott trying to get out of this inning, and there's a shot going to get up the middle. Dowd's going to score as McKnight bobbles it, but needless, I don't think he would have had a chance either to get courtesy runner Dowd. So now Baldwin takes a 3-2 to two lead on the second hit of this inning, and that's an RBI for J.T. Kale. So after Stanziano doubled in two runs, now Kale doubles in the third run of the inning. And that's going to bring up first baseman Zach Ingold. Ingold was a strikeout victim his first time up. And there's a shot, and that's going to get in the gap on the right side. Becker fields it cleanly, gets it into cutoff man Mara. So Scott... Looking a little frustrated there, but not exactly sure why. O'Brien was holding the runner on. And Marrow's just a perfectly placed ball. So Ingold. Back-to-back -back hits now by Kale and Ingold. And now that's going to bring up Forgus. Forgus was retired on an excuse-me swing his first time up. As he hit a little dribbler down to first baseman, Braden O'Brien. That ball down the right field line, it's going to be foul, fortunately. That probably would have scored one run at least, maybe two, although Becker was on it pretty quickly out there. So Caleb looking in, getting a little instruction from Coach Yeoman. So one ball, one strikes to Christian Forgas. Pitch outside. Nice catch there by Bonadio. So J.T. Kale at first. I'm sorry, at second. Zach Ingold at first after back-to-back -back hits. Kale's being an RBI single. There's a swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. So now the count evens up at two and two. Two outs. Runners at first and second, and Scott trying to get out of a little jam. And there's a swing and a miss. Throw's going to have to be made down from Bonadio, and he throws it down to O'Brien. So Forgus is the fourth strikeout victim of the game, but in that inning, Baldwin able to score three runs on three hits. There were no errors. Two men left on, so after three complete, it's the Baldwin American Legion Team 3, the Unitown American Legion Team 2. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsor for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's American Legion doubleheader. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Unitown and Agent David Hughes, Zebley Mahalov and White, Unitown Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Unitown, South Union Township Supervisor Jason Scott, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, United Bank, and the State Farm Insurance Agent Lauren Yeoman at 37 West Main Street in Uniontown. Call her at 724-592-6308. So in the top of the fourth inning, leading off for Uniontown will be Braden O'Brien. He'll be followed by Braden McKnight. And then C.J. Guest, the 7, 8, and 9 hitters for Uniontown. Uniontown now trailing in this game 3-2. to two. Uniontown able to plate single runs in the first and the second. Baldwin scoring all three of their runs in the bottom of the third inning. So now Dom Stanziano comes out with a lead for the first time in this game. 
We're going to have defensive change. Mike Leonhart is actually out in right field. It's going to be Gutendorf. There's the first pitch, though. Brian, check swing, is going to be called for a strike. So Stanziano. Swing and a miss, strike two to Braden O'Brien. Unitown with two runs on four hits in this game. O'Brien able to foul that inside pitch off to stay alive at 0-2. Ball being chased down there by first base coach Rob Gesk. The 0-2 pitch to O'Brien. And O'Brien goes down for the second time in this game. Goes down swinging. That's the fourth strikeout by Stanziano. Brings up Braden McKnight. McKnight also a strikeout victim his first time up. That pitch just misses outside. So one ball, no strikes to Braden McKnight. There's a shot. It's going to get up the middle. And it does, McKnight with a one-out single. That's the fifth hit of the game for Uniontown. And that's going to bring up C.J. Gesk. Looks like we might have some activity in the bullpen. Thought I heard Coach Yeoman tell Braden McKnight to get on and get loosened up just in case. So here's C.J. Gesk. Gesk. Walked and scored a run in his lone at bat. Takes that first pitch for a letter high strike. Guest could be followed by the top of the order, Santino Mara. Mara, two for two today. Pitch also taken for a strike. So now no balls, two strikes to left fielder C.J. Guest, number nine batter in the order. Almost chased that breaking pitch down in the dirt. Now to count one ball, two strikes. McKnight, not with a very big lead at first. Stanziana is going to throw over anyway, but McKnight able to get back easily. So he said Stanziana with a pretty good move. There's a pitch dribbled back up the middle. Perfect for a double play, and it is. So Carter makes the play, steps on second, and flips it over to Ingold at first. So Gesk retired on the 6-3 to three double play. And Uniontown goes quietly in the fourth inning. So no runs, no hits. I'm sorry, one hit, no errors, and... Nobody left on base. So after three and a half, it's the Baldwin American Legion team three, the Uniontown American Legion team two. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's American Legion doubleheader. State Farm Insurance Agent Lauren Yeoman, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Union Township Supervisor Jason Scott, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist SWGI in Unitown, Zebley Mahalov and White, Unitown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, and the Sprouse Insurance Group in Unitown and Agent David Hughes. So now leading off for Baldwin in this bottom of the fourth inning will be number 37, left fielder Tim Dowd. He'll be followed by Liam Gutendorf. And then catcher Pat Bobick. So Caleb Scott coming out to start this bottom of the fourth inning. Unitown is the away team in this doubleheader opener. Here's a swing and a miss. 
Dowd with a big time swing there. Breaking pitch moves him off the plate a little bit, so two balls, one strike. Caleb Scott works fast, no doubt. There's a dribbler. Shear tries to cut it off. It's going to get through for a hit. I don't think Sankovic would have had a play there anyway, so we're going to give Dowd a single. That's going to be the fourth hit for Baldwin. It's going to bring up Leon Gutendorf. Gutendorf was put into bat for Mike Leonhart in that third inning, and he walked and scored a run. Breaking pitch for a strike. Nice pitch there by Caleb Scott. Gutendorf looking down and laughing at his third base coach. Wasn't ready for the breaking pitch. And again, going to get called for strike two. So Gutendorf not real happy with that call. But it looked like it might have caught the outside corner. So Liam now in a quick hole, 0-2. There's a fastball, and Gutendorf going to hit it to Gesk, and it's going to get over his head. Here comes Dowd. Dowd, they're going to wave him home. So here's the throw home by Sankovic. Bonadio with the catch, but doesn't matter. So Gutendorf, as we said, walked his first time up, but was inserted in there for Leonhardt, and now he's going to pick up an RBI double. So Tim Dowd scoring easily and scoring the fourth run for Baldwin. So now Gutendorf. One for one on the day with an RBI. That's going to bring up Pat Bobick. Bobick walked his first time up. Now the infield in for Unitown. There's a foul back on the breaking pitch to Bobick. Unitown pulling the infield in. Unitown led 2 nothing going into the bottom of the third until Baldwin scored three runs. Now they just tacked on another one, and there's still nobody out here in this bottom of the fourth inning. There's a breaking pitch for a strike. So now Bobby quickly in the hole 0-2. And Dom Stanziano waiting on deck. Stanziano doubled in two runs his last time up. Pitch misses outside. So the count now, one ball, two strikes. Infield in. There's a breaking pitch. It's going to be a dribbler foul. Braden O'Brien scoops it up. Down the first baseline. So Bobbick able to stay alive with a one ball, two strike count. Scott still looking to pick up the first out of this bottom of the fourth inning. There's a fastball, just misses outside. So now the count's going to even up. Two balls, two strikes. Outfield straight away. As we mentioned, the infield playing in. There's a swing and a miss. Ball's going to have to be thrown down to first, so Bonadio makes a throw. O'Brien makes the play. Make sure he looks Gutendorf back. So Bobbick, the fifth strikeout victim for Baldwin tonight, and Caleb Scott. Now this is going to bring up Stanziano. Stanziano with the big hit in that third inning. Caleb Scott had walked the first two batters, and Stanziano able to drill a shot into the left field gap, left center gap, and double in two runs. So Stanziano, again, infield still in with only one out. That ball's going to be popped out of play. So Gutendorf at third. As we said, Stanziano put a jolt into it the last time up. So now one ball, one strike. There's the pitch from Caleb. Breaking pitch gets him swinging and missing. So one ball, two strikes. Stanziano way out in front on that breaking pitch. Does Scott go back to it? And he does. Stanziano able to foul that one off and stay alive. One ball, two strikes, and one out. 
And there's another foul back. So good at bat here by Stanziano. Umpire Toby McKnight looking for three baseballs. So here's the one-two pitch. Scott shaking off a sign from Bonadio. Throws a fastball that misses high. After a couple foul balls, should be a two-ball, two-strike count. And there's a breaking pitch. Going to be back to Scott. He's going to look the runner back and make the throw over to Braden O'Brien. So nice job there by Caleb Scott. Scott able to retire Stanziano on the dribbler back. One to three. Gutendorf still remains at third. That's going to bring up the top of the order. That's going to bring up Evan Carter. Carter 0 for 2 on the day, but not before Coach Brad Yeoman's going to come out and talk to Caleb Scott. Carter grounded out to Scott his first time up and then flew out to Braden McKnight, who barely had to make a step to make the catch. So Carter 0 for 2 on the day. And Caleb Scott looking to get out of this inning. He's given up one run. Dowd singled to lead off the inning, and then Gutendorf with a long shot over left fielder C.J. Geska's head. Drove the ball a long way, able to double Dowd home easily. Bobbick struck out, and Stanziano just grounded out to Scott. So now with a runner at third, there's a breaking pitch to Evan Carter, and it's called for a strike. So we said Carter 0 for 2 on the day. Dylan Snyder waits on deck. There's another breaking pitch fouled back there by Carter. So Carter now behind an account, 0-2. And, and Caleb Scott looking to strand Gutendorf at third. And there's another pitch, and that ball is going to fall in for a base hit. McKnight able to get to it, and he's going to throw it into home, and I'm not exactly sure why. There's going to be a throw down to second. Mara is going to put the tag on. And a beautiful play. Not exactly sure what McKnight was doing there. But Evan Carter with a base hit and the RBI as Gutendorf scores easily from third. And then he's going to be thrown out and retired 8-2-4 to two to four to end the inning. So in that inning for Baldwin, they score two more runs on three hits, no errors, and nobody left on. So after four complete, it's the Baldwin American Legion Team 5, the Uniontown American Legion Team 2. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to be live streaming tonight's American Legion doubleheader. The Sprouse Insurance Group in Unitown and Agent David Hughes, Zebley Mahalov and White, Unitown's business and bankruptcy attorneys, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Unitown, South Union Township Supervisor, Jason Scott, Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, United Bank, and State Farm Insurance Agent Lauren Yeoman, who's at 37 West Main Street. Call her at 724-592-6308. So now Stanziano back in for his fifth inning work. Now with a 5-2 to two lead, and he's going to face the top of the order for Unitown. Santino Mara to lead off, be followed by Tyler Sankovich and then Cole Shearer. Mara with two singles on the night, scored the first run for Uniontown in the top of the first inning, was stranded in the second. There's a pop fly drifting back. Coming in is center fielder Christian Forgus, and Forgus with a beautiful diving catch to Rob Santino Mara of a hit. So... One pitch, one out. And that's going to bring up Tyler Sankovich. Sankovich 
Sacrifice bunt his first time up. Move Mara over from first to second to set him up in scoring position. And then he singled and drove in a run in the second inning. He's going to take that pitch for a ball. Drove in C.J. Gesk in that second inning who had walked. Sankovic with the hit and the RBI. That pitch misses just outside. So now two balls and no strikes. Cole Shearer waiting on deck. Three balls and no strikes. Sankovic now ahead in the count. 3-0. and oh. Stanziano has walked four batters so far. Come back there with a strike. So now three balls, one strike. Walked two in the first, one in the second, and one in the third. Now he's going to walk Sankovic. So that's going to be the fifth base on ball issued by Stanziano, and that's going to bring up Cole Shear. Shear tripled in a run his first time up and then grounded out to second baseman J.T. Kale with a couple runners on. So now Shear with a big hole on that right side of the infield. They're going to throw over, keep Sankovic close. So Stanziano with five walks in this game. He has struck out four. He's given up five hits and two runs. His team leading five to two. There's a pitch outside. We're in the fifth inning of the first game of this doubleheader. We're going to go seven. Uniontown, the away team. Pitch taken for a ball. So now Shearer had in the count. Two balls, no strikes. Sankovic with a decent lead at first. Stands in, are going to step back. Trying to keep Sankovic a little bit closer. Cole Shearer ahead in the count now. Two balls, no strikes. There's one out. Gutendorf is now the first baseman. Not exactly sure where they put Ingold. There's a shot deep to left. Fading back is Tim Dowd. He's going to make the catch and gets it back quickly. So Shearer put a jolt into that one, but Dowd able to corral it out in left field. So now that's going to bring up Brant Bonadio. Bonadio walked his first time up and then flew out to then right fielder Mike Leonhart. And I want to say that, that might be Zach Ingold out in right now. We'll check that. There's a swing and a miss by Bonadio. So Uniontown looking to cut into this 5-2 to two lead. There's a pop-up to right. Kale drifting back, right fielder. That's going to fall in. So Sankovic is going to get in to third base easily. And that is actually Dylan Snyder out there. So we do have a couple changes. Dylan Snyder is now in right field and unable to make that catch. And we're going to have... Ingold is now at third. And I think everybody else is the same spot, but we're going to check it out and see. So now Bonadio, pinch runner, is going to be Pat Cavanaugh. So Bonadio able to get on on an error. And that moves Sankovic to third. So now with two outs, it's going to bring up Tyler Becker. And Becker pops it straight up on the infield. Stanziano calling it. And he's going to make the catch. So first pitch swinging, Tyler Becker. And he's going to fly out to the pitcher. 
So in that inning for Uniontown, there were no runs on no hits. There was one error and two big runners left on base. So going into the bottom of the fifth inning, it's the Baldwin American Legion Team 5, the Uniontown American Legion Team 2. South Uni Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to live stream tonight's American Legion doubleheader. State Farm Insurance Agent Lauren Yeoman, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, South Uni Township Supervisor Jason Scott, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist SWGI in Unitown, Zebley Mahalov and White, Unitown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, and the Sprouse Insurance Group in Unitown and Agent David Hughes. So now we have a pitching change for Unitown. And on the mound now is Braden O'Brien. We're going to have a switch. We're going to have McKnight going to third. Cole Shearer is going to move over to first. Not exactly sure who is in. Oh, I'm sorry. You have Caleb Scott now. I'm sorry. He's going to move from pitcher to left field. Looks like they're going to move C.J. Gesk over to center. So we set O'Brien on the mound. Shearer at first. And McKnight now playing second base. And we'll set the defense up again here. And Braden O'Brien coming in in relief of Caleb Scott. And we'll finalize the numbers for you here shortly. So O'Brien going to face the two, three, and four hitters. Dylan Snyder lead off. He'll be followed by J.T. Kale and Zach Ingold. So Scott's final numbers, he's going to give up five runs, all of them earned. He gave up six hits, struck out five batters. There's a dribbler on the first pitch. It's going to be fouled off. And Scott walked two batters. In four innings of work, so the final numbers, five runs on five hits. I'm sorry, five runs all earned, six hits, five strikeouts, two bases on balls, and he's a pitcher of record. There's a dribbler. They're going to test McKnight at third base. He shoots a shot over to Shear, and nice play there by Braden McKnight, who moved from center field to third base. So Brian picks up the first out. That's going to bring up. J.T. Kale. Kale popped out to O'Brien at first, his first time up, and then singled in a run. His second at bat, so he's one for two on the day. There's a breaking pitch from Braden. It's going to call for a strike. Zach Ingold waiting on deck. There's a dribbler foul down the right field line. Ball getting thrown back into play. There's activity down the right field line in the bullpen. It looks like Evan Carter. There's strike three. Nice breaking pitch there. So O'Brien picks up his first strikeout, gets J.T. Kale looking. And that's going to bring up Zach Ingold. Ingold one for two. He struck out his first time up and singled and was stranded at first in the third inning. O'Brien working from the stretch. There's a fastball, and it's going to be hit to right. Tyler Becker able to gather it in. Nice play there by Tyler on the line drive by Ingold. So Braden O'Brien comes in and gets Baldwin out. One, two, three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left in that bottom of the fifth inning. So after five complete, it's the Baldwin American Legion team five. The Unitown American Legion team two. Coming up to bat for Uniontown will be 
Caleb Scott. He'll be followed by Braden O'Brien and Braden McKnight. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to do today's live stream of the American Legion doubleheader. Sprouls Insurance Group in Unitown and Agent David Hughes, Zebley Mahalob and White, Unitown's business and bankruptcy attorneys, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Unitown, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law, United Bank, and State Farm Insurance Agent, Lauren Yeoman. So now coming in for the sixth inning of work, it's going to be number 18. That's going to be Evan Carter. So Carter coming in in relief of Stanziano. And we'll finish Stanziano's numbers here in a minute. He gave up two runs on two earned runs. Gave up five hits. He struck out four, and he walked five guys. So he's the actual pitcher of record right now. So final numbers, two runs, both earned, five hits, four strikeouts, and five bases on balls, and that's going to bring in Evan Carter. Now we're going to have to try to figure out who's where here. Looks like Kale is going to move over to short. Second baseman. Looks like it's going to be number 37. I think that's Tim Dowd. As we said, Carter on the mound. And we're trying to figure out who went where. There's Caleb Scott leading off. There's a dribbler down to first. It's going to stay foul. So Caleb Scott in the hole. No balls, two strikes. Gutendorf tried to scoop that up and flipped it over the first base dugout. So not exactly sure where everybody's at here, but we'll try to figure this out. Stanziano, I think, is in left. There's a swing and a miss. So Caleb Scott becomes the first strikeout victim for Carter. So Unitown down to their final five outs. They trail five to two. And Braden O'Brien coming to bat. O'Brien 0 for 2 on the day. And Carter looking to pick up the save here for Baldwin. Pitch catches the outside corner for a strike. So we do have Stanziano in left. There's a shot up the middle. Nicely fielded by Kale, but Kale's not going to be able to make the play. So we're going to have to give Braden O'Brien an infield hit as he legged that out, and I'm sure we're going to have a courtesy runner for O'Brien. That's going to be number 10. That's going to be Pat Cavanaugh, again, as the courtesy runner for Braden O'Brien. As O'Brien picks up his first hit of the game, the sixth hit for Uniontown. That brings up Braden McKnight now with one out. And a runner at first, and Kavanaugh barely got back. Gutendorf with a nice job saving that from going down the right field line. So infield for Baldwin. Here's another throw over. Kavanaugh gets back. So the infield for Baldwin is Ingold at third, J.T. Kale at Short, Tim Dowd at second. That ball's going to be third base. Ingold's going to try to make the call, and it's going to get away from him. Play at second base, and he's going to be safe. So Ingold unable to make that catch. And Brave McKnight going to get there. Kavanaugh had to play it halfway. So McKnight... Going to get on on an air by the third baseman. So now runners at second and first. 
And here comes C.J. Guest at the plate, and he's going to square around a bunt, but can't get it to go. That ball's going to be called for a ball. So one out, and now runners at first and second for Unitown as they try to cut into this 5-2 to two lead. And Guest able to pull that back. So now two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch from Carter. That pitch going to be called for a strike. Gutendorf charging from first. Ingold staying put at third, obviously, with men on first and second. So here comes Gesk, and he's going to square around and pop that one back. So now the count evens up at two balls, two strikes. Santino Mare, the leadoff hitter, waits on deck. So one out, Caleb Scott struck out to start this inning. Braden O'Brien singled, and then Braden McKnight got on on an error by third baseman Ingold. And now here's Gesk with one out and two runners on. There's a look back. Carter faking the throw to drive Patrick Cavanaugh back, the courtesy runner, for Braden O'Brien. Gesk going to square around, and he's going to get called out. Pulled the bat back. It was a perfect strike, so C.J. Guest goes down, and he's going to be the second strikeout victim in this inning, and the second by Evan Carter. Now that's going to bring up Mara. Mara, two for three on the game, singled his first two times up and then flew out to center field second time, or third time up, I'm sorry. So there's a pitch going to be called for a strike. There's a shot, and that's going to get in. Cavanaugh is going to try to score. There's going to be the throw. He's going to get there easily. And on the play, McKnight gets to third. So Cavanaugh, the courtesy runner, is going to score easily. McKnight going to get to third. And now Santino Mara, three for four on the day, and he picks up an RBI. So now Uniontown. Trailing now, five to three. And this brings up Tyler Sankovic. Sankovic, one for one on the night, and there's Mara with a throw over by Carter. But he's barely off the bag. First pitch outside. So now Unitown with two men on, two men out. And Tyler Sankovic looking to keep this going. We said they trail five to three. Scored one in the first, one in the second. Baldwin scored three in the third, two in the fourth. That's going to be a fly ball out to Stanziano, and he's going to be able to make the catch. So Sankovic flies out to left field. But in that inning, Uniontown able to score one run on two hits. There was one error. And there were two big men left on base. So at the end of six, I'm sorry, at the end of five and a half, it's Uniontown trailing Baldwin five to three. South Union Township Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors for making it possible for us to be live streaming the American Legion doubleheader tonight. State Farm Insurance Agent Lauren Yeoman, United Bank, Davis and Davis Attorneys at Law, Southwest Gastrointestinal Specialist, SWGI in Unitown, Jason Scott, South Union Township Supervisor, Zebley Mahalov and White, Unitown's Business and Bankruptcy Attorneys, and the Sprouse Insurance Group in Unitown and Agent David Hughes. So now Unitown looking to come back in this game. Braden O'Brien in his second inning of work here in relief of Caleb Scott. And he's going to try to hold Baldwin at bay here as Unitown tries to come back. 
They were able to play one run in that last inning, but left two big men on base. So now leading off will be Christian Forgus. He'll be followed by Tim Dowd and then Liam Gutendorf. Forgus 0 for 2 on the night. Ground out to O'Brien, who was playing first at the time. Three unassisted and struck out his second at bat. Going to give a shout-out to my boss, Dr. David Buck, and his wife, Lorraine, listening in Florida today. Thanks for listening and hope my announcing doesn't bore you to death. So here's Forgus. Ball misses just a bit inside. So one ball, two strikes now. O'Brien came in in relief in the fifth inning and was able to retire ball on one, two, three. Looking to do the same thing here now. Unitown trailing by two. So two balls, two strikes as the count evens up. That ball inside. So now it's full. Three balls, two strikes. There's going to be a switch here. So Brian trying to get out of this three and two count and trying to retire Forgus. As Tim Dowd waits on deck. That pitch is going to miss down low. So O'Brien with a walk. That's his first walk since entering the game. That's going to put Forgus on for the first time tonight. That's going to bring up Tim Dowd. Dowd struck out his first time, then started the fourth inning with a hit and scored a run. So he's one for two on the day. He's showing bunt, and he fouled that ball off. Not so sure. That would have been a pretty tough bunt to get down either way. Lucky that ball didn't pop up. O'Brien was charging. He'd have made the play easily. Not so sure I would have Dowd bunting again. Waiting on deck, Liam Gutendorf. A decent sized lead over there by Forgus. And he pulls back, and that's going to get called for a strike. So now no balls and two strikes on Dowd. And O'Brien looking to pick up the first out of this bottom of the sixth inning. Dowd able to foul that one back and stay alive. So no balls and two strikes. Unitown will be down to their final three outs. As we said, this doubleheader will be two seven-inning games instead of nine. So no balls and two strikes to Dowd. Cole Shearer holding the runner, Forgus, on at first. Throw is going to be made over, but really just trying to keep Forgus a little bit closer to first. Maybe even see if Dowd was trying to bunt. O'Brien nods with the sign, and there's a swing and a miss. There's a throw down. That ball's going to be thrown into center field. They're going to keep Forgus there. There's going to be throw behind him and barely gets back. So C.J. Gesk throws behind the runner. So Dowd is going to go down on strikes. That's going to be O'Brien's second strike out of the game. Forgus able to get the second base on the steal. Fortunately, could not make it to third on the overthrow there by Bonadio. So now this is going to bring up Liam Gutendorf. Gutendorf walked his first time up and scored a run and doubled the second time up and drove in a run and then scored a run on Stanziano's double. Baldwin leading 5-3. to three. And Braden O'Brien now with one out and a runner at second. Fakes back. Again, just trying to keep Forgus close. Gutendorf with that double to left field his last time up. And again, a good swing. Looks like he might have tweaked his back there a little bit. 
He put a charge into that last one, as we said. Dowd was able to score easily. And now one ball, one strike count. O'Brien checking the runner, and he's going to step off. Pat Bobick, the catcher, waiting on deck. Ball misses just inside. Count now, two balls. One strike to Liam Gutendorf. O'Brien in for his second inning of work. Came in in the bottom of the fifth in relief of Caleb Scott. That ball's going to get away from Bonadio. And Forgus able to get to third easily. So now in scoring position with one out. And a sacrifice fly could attack on another run for Baldwin. They lead in this game 5-3. to three. And as we said, Unitown will be down to their last three outs here in this top of the seventh inning. Infield now playing in. Trying to cut down this run. There's a pitch out and away. So O'Brien with his second walk of the inning. That's going to bring up Pat Bobick. Bobick walked his first time up. The courtesy runner for him scored, and then he struck out his second at bat. So Forgus at third, Gutendorf at first. That pitch on the inside. Kind of surprised that Gutendorf didn't take off on that first pitch. Now the infield playing normal depth. Up the middle, it's short and second. Shearer and Braden McKnight on the corners. Creeping in a little bit. McKnight playing in, looking for the bunt. Shearer holding the runner at first. They're going to foul it back. So Gutendorf took off on that pitch, but now he's going to have to head back the first on the fall back by Bobbick. And Bobbick kind of saying, it's my fault, I missed the sign. Was supposed to swing to protect, but he fouled that one back. So one strike. Gutendorf. Don't be surprised if he'll take off on this pitch, and he does not. That ball misses just a little bit low. So O'Brien looking for pitcher's best friend, a double play ball to get out of this inning. That's a shot that's going to be in the right field. Becker's going to throw it to second. But on the play, Forgus is going to score. So Christian Forgus scores the sixth run of the game. And Bobbick picks up his first hit and an RBI. So Christian Forgus scores. So now we're going to have... Leonhart is the courtesy runner for Bobbick, the catcher. So now Gutendorf at second. Courtesy runner Leonhart at first. And still only one out. Here's Dom Stanziano. Stanziano doubled in two runs his first time up and scored a run. And then he grounded out to pitcher Caleb Scott. His second time up, so he's one for two with a run scored in two RBIs. That ball down and in. So Stanziano, dangerous hitter, even in the nine spot. So runners at first and second. There's a swing and a miss. Stanziana with a good cut. <laughs> Give him that smile. So one ball and two strikes. No Brian from the stretch. That's called for a strike. Perfect pitch on the inside corner. So Stanziano goes down looking. That's his third strikeout for Braden O'Brien. 
And that's going to bring up the top of the order, Evan Carter. So Carter now looking to drive in another run. He's one for three on the day. Grounded out to the pitcher his first time up. Flew out to center fielder McKnight at the time. And then singled in a run. And was thrown out on an overthrow from center field. Thrown out by Bonadio, who threw it to Mara at second and cut him down to end the inning. Pitches down and in, and both runners are going to advance. So now you've got runners at second and third, but two outs. And O'Brien facing the top of the order here in Evan Carter. O'Brien going to stay from the stretch. Nice block there by Bonadio. Maybe trying to overthrow a little bit. Gutendorf at third. Gutendorf has already scored two runs today. He's trying to make it three. That pitch is down and away. So now Carter walks. That's going to be the third walk issued by Braden O'Brien. And now the bases are loaded. We're going to have another courtesy runner. So should be Stanziano coming out to run. And it is. So Stanziano going to be the courtesy runner for Evan Carter, who was now in relief of Stanziano. So now it's going to bring up Dylan Snyder. Snyder 0 for 3 here today. Struck out the first time up. Fouled out in foul territory to Brant Bonadio, who made a beautiful play in catching the pop fly. And... Grounded out the third his last time up. So now with bases loaded, Unitown trying to get out of here. And there's a shot, and that's going to score another couple runs. It's going to be out to the outfield. Looks like Kavanaugh out there. He's going to get it in, but not before two runs score. So Gutendorf and the courtesy runner. Stanziano, no, I'm sorry, Stanziano's it. He's the courtesy runner for Carter. So the courtesy runner for Bobbick able to score. And there's a pop foul out of play. JT Kale. So that single by Snyder picks up two RBIs. So now Snyder at first. Courtesy runner Stanziano at second. There's another foul back by Kale. So now O'Brien, Braden O'Brien quickly ahead of the count. No balls, two strikes. So here's the 0-2 pitch from Braden O'Brien. He's got the runner caught in the rundown. And Stanziano is going to be caught leaning. So he's going to be retired one to five, and that's going to end the inning. So not before Baldwin scores three more runs on only two hits. There were no errors and one man left on base. So after six complete, Unitown down to their last three outs, and they trail Baldwin eight to three. Welcome back to the South Union Township Sports Network where the 
Uniontown American Legion team is down to their final three outs in this top of the seventh inning. Evan Carter in for his second inning of work. He's going to face the three, four, and five hitters. Cole Shearer, who pops up the first pitch, is going to be out of play. Tough play there for catcher Pat Bobick. Not a very deep foul territory behind home plate. So he just lost track of the ball. So Shearer going to be followed here by Brant Bonadio and then Tyler Becker, the 3-4-5 hitters. Unitown trailing 8-3. to three. And there's a shot to short. Nice play by Kale. He's going to make the throw over, and he's going to throw it in the dugout. So Cole Shearer is going to reach on the air and now able to get to second base. That's the third error of the game for Baldwin. But they still lead in this game 8-3. to three. So now here comes Brent Bonadio. Bonadio walked his first time up, flew out to right field his second time up, and then reached on an error by the right fielder his third time up. Tyler Becker waiting on deck. First pitch is a strike. Carter came in the sixth inning, and at that time, Baldwin had a 5-2 to two lead. He's given up one run. And there's a shot, and it's going to get through the hole between short and third. Shear not going to make the turn. Nice play by Stanziano to get that ball in rather quickly. So Brant Bonadio with a single. That's going to be the eighth hit of the game for Unitown. And Pat Cavanaugh going to be the courtesy runner. So Bonadio does his job. And that gets Cole Shearer to third. And nobody out. Tyler Becker coming to bat. Becker 0 for 1. He walked his first two times up, got caught stealing in the third, and then flew out to the pitcher, Stanziano at the time. There's a throw over, but Cavanaugh back without a problem. There's a shot to second base. Flips it to first. I'm sorry, flips it to second. And then throws over. So Becker is going to ground into a double play. It's going to go 4-6-3. Nice play by Dowd at second base. Flipped it to Kale. And Kale with the good throw over to Gutendorf. So that's also going to retire courtesy runner Pat Cavanaugh. And now... Unitown down to their last out. This is going to be pitch hitter Joe Chambers. Chambers batting for Caleb Scott. Chambers takes that pitch for a strike. Count now. One ball, one strike. Braden O'Brien waiting on deck. Chambers grounds at the Kale. And he's going to boot it. So Chambers is going to be on on an air. So the second inning, I'm sorry, second air of the game for Baldwin. But they still hold a 8-4 to four lead. Braden O'Brien now coming to the plate. O'Brien. One for three on the day, singled his last time up and sc scored a run. Ball's going to be fouled out of play down the first baseline. Braden McKnight waiting on deck. Throw over to first, but Chambers able to get back safely. Carter gets a sign. Breaking pitch. Just misses low. There's two outs. Uniontown able to plate one run. There's a shot, and that's going to be a hit. So O'Brien picks up his second hit of the game in two and two innings. So now again. 
Another courtesy runner, Logan Urich. Going to head back out the first as Braden McKnight comes to bat. McKnight, one for three on the day, struck out, singled in his second time up, and got on an air in his third at bat. So this is fourth, fourth at bat of the game. Looking to keep the hopes alive for Unitown. There's a dribbler down to second to Dowd. Dowd's going to flip it to Kale. And that's going to be the end of the ball game. So in that inning, Uniontown scores one run on two hits. They were two errors and one man left on base. So it's complete. Uniontown loses his first game. Eight to four. Winning pitcher, Stan Ziano. The losing pitcher is going to be Caleb Scott. Let's go through the final numbers for the victorious Baldwin Highlanders. They scored eight runs on eight hits. They made five errors, and they left three men on base. For Uniontown, they scored four runs on nine hits. They made no errors and they left nine men on base. So tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring township supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, Gary Smith and his staff. I'm Tony Anola with Jerry DuPay, and this has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation.